All right, guys, the car is finally in the shop. All right, before I get into the rest of the video, I just wanted to say that I have been trying to fight IAA for over a month about all those hidden damages that are shown in my previous video when I received the car. I have tried multiple times contacting them, even their main, their main headquarters, their main office, and they just kept rejecting me, saying the car was sold as is because it did not run and drive. So they can't do anything about it. So I reviewed all of my options and getting an attorney or a lawyer to fight a case for me just simply won't be worth it. There's no point. So what I decided to do instead is bite the bullet, take it how it is, and just rebuild the car I also had another option of parting out the car. It's simply just going to take too long to sell the parts off to make, basically to make back what I put into it. And also I'm going to have a whole bunch of parts laying around in the garage waiting to be sold. That's just something I don't want to do. So the only other option I have is to rebuild it. Yes, it's going to be a lot more money than I anticipated, but it's still going to be a lot cheaper than purchasing one of these from a dealership or secondhand used but at the same time i'm going to try to create some good content for you guys just so you guys can see the whole rebuild process we're about to get some things started on it i don't know if you guys noticed we took off the black wrap from the top of the roof and the front bumper still got to do the hood but you know the car looks a lot better it's a lot better without that wrap I also already picked up a few parts locally. I found this very cheap stock exhaust, complete exhaust. It was a great deal. Also, I bought a new differential module and a fuel pump module because they were also missing. And those are pretty cheap as well. So basically in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this motor out, probably with the trans as well. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. I'm probably just gonna pull the whole front end out and the whole front the whole front clip just so we can take everything out at once also i have verified that this motor is hurt i took off the oil filter and there was some metal shavings in there so i'm gonna do like a simple tear down on this motor to see what's really going on with it there's some of the extra parts that i already pulled off the motor right here we have a two port stock turbo it's in fairly good condition so i could probably even sell this and get some money back as well with the uh, intake manifold it's good condition as well i'm probably going to keep this aftermarket intake because it's almost complete i might need a few things on it i don't know if you guys remember there was there was tire marks on this side of the car i used a little bit of lacquer thinner on a rag and it came off nice and clean there's no dents anywhere paint is not damaged i was gonna buff it but this is actually working better yeah, bro, it's like a brand new Supra. Also, we're selling this Audi. It makes about 1800 to the wheels. Uh, five grand. It's yours. And this is, this is, it's my Audi, but this is Mr. Slave Labor. He does all the work around here. Nine Four Garage is a scam. He doesn't do his own work. <laughs> yep. We get, we get paid with Taco Bell once a month. We gave, um, I can't let out your real name, but we gave Nine Phone Garage 10 grand each to get a nice Supra. He bought this piece of shit. Oh, y'all y'all ain't even see the fastest car we got in a lot. Yeah, right here. Here we have the first ever W211. E55 AMG on super wheels. Suede wrapped interior with ambient, hold up. With ambient lighting interior. That's that's our henchman, we pay him. Doodoo ass Audi. That shit got hella frame damage, shit crab walk. <laughs>
All right, guys, I finally got the whole front clip off. Man, it was a pain to get to these bolts over here. Now hold the front clip. There's, there's four bolts, three big ones and one small one. Um, I like how these coolers can actually stay in place as long as that one. But yeah, overall, the engine and the trans, they can just come right out very easy. And the, and the bearing looks good. Yeah. Uh, Where's the stairs? Yeah, blown out ringling. Cylinder wall still good. All right, so the motor's out. <clears throat> I didn't have a chance to film the process. Just in here, we're just tearing everything out. It was a pretty simple job. We just pulled it out. I already have the motor disassembled. Pretty much, I took the head off, trans is off. And let me tell you guys, it's, it's worse than I thought. All right, before we get to the motor, I'm gonna talk about the trans for a bit. So I pulled the trans, this is the original trans. That motor is not original to the car. So I pulled out the trans and it appeared that the harness, which is the plug for the transmission is missing. So I don't know if you can see, you guys can't see, but for some reason, <laughs> the insides of this transmission are gutted. There's no solenoids, there's nothing. Man, this really sucks. I was hoping that this trans is at least good, but it sucks. I might need to get a new trans as well. I should have probably drained the fluid, but at this point, I really don't care. Wow, look at that, guys. Look, we got... Guys, look, we got a free glove. This will come in handy. Yep, as I suspected, guys, the control unit is missing and the valve body is missing as well. I don't know what else is missing from here. I really have no idea. I'm not an expert in these transmissions. I could do some research, but. All right, so let's get over to the motor. So the first thing I did was I popped the oil pan off and I noticed some piston material. We got some piston rings. Here's the oil scraper off the piston. And then I took the head off. So after further inspection, when I looked down through the bottom of the block, I noticed that piston one blew out a ringling. Only piston one. There it is. And the good thing is the cylinder walls are still good. Like I'm pretty sure this block is still good. Like you can drop in a new piston and you'll be good. Like the crank is in perfect condition. The bearings are in perfect condition. Like this motor was obviously beat on, but it's, it's rebuildable. As for the head, let me flip it over for you guys. The head is in good condition as well. No bent valves anywhere. It's actually pretty clean. So, pretty sure this, I don't know how much miles is on this motor, but it's probably not that high. I did take the cams out as well, and the caps looked pretty clean. There wasn't any, any scoring or big scratches or gouges. All right, so what's the game plan? Some of you might be asking. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a complete motor with wiring, harness, accessories, basically a complete motor. And I'm just gonna sell all the remaining parts of this motor and recoup some money because I don't really see a sense of building this motor and then piecing everything, every little thing together. Plus, this is a two port head. I could put a six port head on here, but I, I don't really see a point in wasting a lot of time and piecing all the extra parts together. I'd rather just put a complete motor with everything on it. I'm not gonna put an LS in this thing or 
whatever you guys were recommending before. I just want to stick to a B58. Like I said, I don't want to build a B58 yet. I just want to sell it so I can recoup some money so we can get this car, so we can get this on the road faster. Honestly, it's a big loss. It is what it is, but yeah, I am going to waste a little bit of money here and there, but you know, it's all about producing good content for you guys. I mean, if anybody needs any parts, I think uh, oil pan's good. I have oil pump, baffle. Um, there's a few extra parts in this motor. You guys can contact me and I can, we can work out the pricing. In the next video, I should have a motor and a trans ready to be put in here. So stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching.